What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to create a cinematic intro using just your channel name. I'm gonna use CapCut Video Editor to show you the steps. So without further ado, let's dive in. First, open CapCut and tap New Project. And then import a background image or video, if you have it ready in your gallery. If you don't have one, you can use the backgrounds in the library. Just go to the Library tab and then select Backgrounds. Choose the one that you want to use, and then import it to the timeline. Let's use this black background for our intro. Next, tap the text option and then select Add Text. And then enter your channel name. I'll just use the word channel name. Adjust the text size and make sure it is centered. To change the font, go to the Style menu. Select the Fonts tab if it's not already selected and then choose the font you want to use. And if you want to get other custom fonts, I have another video that shows you how to get them. Check out the link in the descriptions. You can also add effect to your text. Just go to the effects option and select the effect you want to apply to your text. Let's use this effect for our intro. Next, let's add intro music. To do this, tap audio and then select sound FX. In the search bar, write the type of intro music you want to use. For example, let's use cinematic intro music. Select the results to hear the sounds. I think this one is good for our intro. So I'm just going to tap this plus sign to add it to the timeline. But as you can see, the intro music is a little bit longer than we need. So to make it shorter, I'm gonna cut it right here and delete the rest. But doing this can make the sound end abruptly. So I'll use the fade effect to make the sound fade out gradually. All right, that sounds good. Now let's adjust the duration of the text. To do that, I'm just going to go to the text option and tap it. And then drag the white bar at the end of the text to make it longer. Next, let's add animations to the text. Select the text and then tap animations. There are several animated text templates for you to choose from. Select the one that you find the most appealing, and then hit the check mark to add it to the selected text. So let's choose the electric light animation, and adjust the duration by dragging the slider. And tap the out option, choose the type of animation you want, and set the duration. Now I want to make the text to zoom in at the beginning of the text reveal. To do this I'll use keyframes. Add one keyframe at the beginning, add another keyframe a little bit further, and go to the first frame and decrease the size of the text to the minimum. This will make the text zoom in as it goes from the first keyframe to the second. Tap the little graph button and select cubic in to ease the speed of the text. Let's add another keyframe and make the text a little bit bigger to make it continue zooming in until it gets to the end. Let's see how it looks. It looks good. Now we're gonna add some cool effects to make it more eye-catching. To get these effects, I'm gonna go to the stickers option. There are many awesome stickers in CapCut that you can use in your videos. Let's use this explosion effect. I'm gonna cut the effect right after the explosion ends and delete the rest. Trust. 
Let's add another sticker. I think we can use this electric effect on the text. So let's add it to the timeline. Adjust it until it's perfectly aligned with the text. And add the electric sound effect. So I'm gonna tap sounds, sound effects, and type electric sound on the search bar. Let's use this one. Before we finish, let me add a flicker effect to the text right here. To do that, I'll split the text here, and then animations. Select the loop option, and then select flicker. I think that's a little too fast, so I'm just gonna slide this bar a little bit to make it slower. Looks good. After you get satisfied with the result, export your work. And that's it, folks. Here is the final result.